In this example, we are given that a beam of light has three wavelengths: four one four four angstrom, four nine seven two angstrom, and six two one six angstrom, with a total intensity of three point six into ten to the power minus three watt per meter square, which is equally distributed among the three wavelengths. Is incident on a metal having work function two point three electron volt. Now it is saying if each capable photon ejects one electron, we are required to calculate the number of photoelectrons ejected in two seconds from one meter square surface. Now in this situation, first we need to check how many of these three wavelengths are capable of ejecting an electron, for which we can directly calculate the threshold wavelength from the work function. So here we can directly calculate. Threshold wavelength of a metal. This lambda threshold can be given as one two four three one by two point three, which is five four zero five angstrom, which is the threshold wavelength. And we know that only those wavelengths which are lesser than threshold wavelength are capable to eject electrons in photoelectric effect. So here we can see that this first and second wavelengths will eject photoelectrons, whereas the third one will not eject electrons. So here we can calculate the number of photons incident on metal of lambda one and lambda two. We can write because lambda three is not of any use because it is not ejecting an electron. We have already discussed. So this total number of photons we can write as p lambda one by h c plus p lambda two by h c. Here the power we can directly take as ten to power minus three multiplied by one point two watt per meter square, because three point six into ten to power minus three is the total intensity. And is given that it is equally distributed among the three wavelengths. So for these two individually, we can take power as 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 3 watt per meter square. So this P by H C lambda 1 plus lambda 2. If we substitute the values here, you can see the number of photons incident will get as 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 3. Divided by h is six point six three into ten to the power minus thirty four multiplied by three into ten to the power eight, and here lambda one plus lambda two will be four one four four plus four nine seven two multiplied by ten to the power minus ten in angstrom we have converted in meter. So on simplifying this expression, we are getting. Total number of photons will be 5.5 into 10 to the power 15 photons per second will incident onto the surface, which are capable in ejection of electron. And we are given that if each capable photon ejects one electron, that means per second these much number of electrons are emitted. So we are required to calculate electrons emitted in two seconds. So we can directly write electrons emitted in two second r. This can be written as 5.5 into 10 to the power 15 multiplied by 2, which is 1.1 into 10 to the power 16 electrons. These are the total electrons emitted in two second from the surface. That is the answer to this problem.